Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 15th through January 21st. Now this is a general reading so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, this is the Ask Angels deck. What I need you to do is ask a question. Okay, ask a question right now and hopefully this card will reveal your answer at the end. Let's see what comes up. Now I'm going to start the reading out with a general reading and hopefully end it with love. We will see what happens there as well. Hmm, what's it going to be? Hmm, what is the fortune for Scorpio? Let's get right into the reading. I have not pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle it now. Um, this is for the sign of Scorpio. What do you have? I want to thank all the people that didn't ask for their reading. I really appreciate that. There was a few Scorpios that did, which, you know, that's a big pet peeve of mine. It's just the way I don't, I don't care for that. Um, but that's who I am. It's like you guys are, you may decide, be, be deciding you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to fight about something. I'm done. I'm done. Not going to fight for this anymore. I'm not, I, you know, I've decided that I'm going to take this time to focus on me. It's time for me to focus on me. Time of reflection. Time out. Time out. I'm not going to fight with you anymore. Oh, you may be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you may be just focusing on your job. You may be deciding to focus on you. Um, <clears throat> you may be even thinking about starting your own business. You're decide you uh, have decided that it's really time for you to rethink your future, okay? I, I need to think of this, the forward path, and um, that's what I'm going to focus on right now sick of the confusion. I am. I'm really sick of being confused. I'm sick of uh, the illusions and I need to decide what it's going to be, what's going to happen. You know, I see choices here. It's about time to make the the choice. Okay, what's, what are you going to do? I mean, that's the question. What are you going to do? When the Seven of Cups comes up, I mean, it's be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. So it is time to make a decision because if you stay where you're currently at, that's where you'll be. If you move forward, it's a whole new beginning. So what are you going to do? Are you going to stay? Or are you going to go? I mean, that's the thing. And, and as far as uh, choices go, this, this is telling me that you have to go with your heart, okay? Don't go with the security. Don't go with the stability. Go with your heart. I don't know where that's coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. Um, there's a divine connection here as well, okay? I just need to tell you that. I feel it very strongly. Somebody that is watching this has a divine connection, and they are telling you to go with your heart. So whatever that means you know it's not about the money okay it's about you being happy it's about you following your passions okay your visions for the future all right right now i think that you're stuck in a predicament because it's secure and it's stable but it's not fulfilling your hopes and desires okay you're coming out of a period of conflict because you've taken the time or you're taking the time to reflect, okay? There's a time of reflection here and because you're taking the time to reflect, the inner conflicts that you have been carrying around for years are starting to dissolve because your, your time of reflectioning is, your time of reflectioning, <laughs> your time of reflection is opening your eyes to new possibilities. That's what I see. Um, and, and you know, there's, <laughs> it's like there's, there's, you guys have been trying to live up to society's standards for all this time. And now you've come to a point where no, 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 no. 
It's time for me to release my passions. I have so much passion inside of me for something else that I could give a shit what you have to say. That kind of energy. It's like I'm in control of my life. I'm in control of my destiny. And I, I am ready to create something new. I feel like you guys are vibrating very, very highly this week. I mean, very, very highly. Uh, amazing. Let me just get the rest of the cards before I keep going. And I will try to remember to zoom this in this time. Wherever you've been, wherever you've been, there was like no reward. No reward. It's like, what the hell? If you aren't going to reward me for my effort and for all that I've put into this, then I think I'm going to have to go. You know, that kind of thing. It's like, you haven't been rewarded for your effort. You haven't been rewarded for all that you've put into this. So you're like, ah, well, you know, maybe I need to head in a different direction. It's time for me to accept the truth. It's time to re for me to remove this tension from my life because there's no reward. There's no reward there. It feels like you haven't been getting what you deserve. You ha Somebody hasn't been giving you uh, what you want and you've come to the conclusion that it's it's time for you to get your life back on track. It's time to do what you want to do. All right? It's no longer uh, really even a choice, okay? It's no longer really even a choice. You've come to the conclusion that you have passions el elsewhere and you're going to have to fulfill them. So I feel like somebody, you've been trying to keep things under control and you've been trying to keep things organized but the thing is, is that it's come to this point where you can't anymore. It's no longer, you can't keep this under wraps. You can't keep this under wraps. The passion is about ready to burst from your soul because you are vibrating so highly. You're getting messages nonstop. They're telling you to create something new. It's a time of creation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you going to go? Are you going to go? You know, it's like they're pushing you, pushing you, pushing you to follow your passion. It's like, hold on, brace yourself, here I come. That kind of energy, that's what I see. It's like, whatever you were doing in the past wasn't rewarding, and you came to that conclusion based on, via your period of reflection, time out, re becoming aware of what you want. You came to this um, conclusion that it's time. It is time for me to shine. No longer going to wear that blindfold. No longer going to pretend. No longer going to procrastinate. I'm moving on. And, you know, I feel like you have memories. You have some memories here that are haunting you. They're, or they had been haunting you. And your, your memories of your innocence, okay, of how innocent you were or whatever. And you, you want it back. It's like, you know what? I used to be happy. I'm going to be happy again. Yeah, wherever you've been, there was no growth. It's like you put in a lot of work, you put in a lot of effort, and no matter what you did, there was no reward coming. We're moving on to love now, by the way. Moving on to the love portion of the reading. But anyway, it's like there was no reward coming, so it feels like, you know, you could be... Um, let me get the rest of the cards before I speak anymore. Yeah, you're unhappy in your current situation. You're unhappy, so that's why you were unhappy in your situation, or you still are, and you're about to accept the truth. It's like, whatever was happening, you weren't accepting the truth. You were trying to deny it. You were trying to stay in a spot that didn't serve you. And now, and the, and the fact that you weren't happy you know, wasn't helping things. You were just lying to yourself. It's like, I have been lying to myself about being happy. There's a lot of dishonesty here. It's like, I think that you guys were involved in a karmic situation that you were brought to to open your eyes, to make you aware of your passion and what you're worth and what you want. I mean, there's definitely some karma here. It feels like you're dealing with somebody who was almost abusive in a way 
which was actually, I mean, not that abuse is a good thing, but it opened your eyes. It's like you were dealing with somebody who was so controlling and uh, manipulative that you've come to the conclusion that I'm worth more than this. Way, 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 way worth more than this. I, I, it's time for me to do the right thing for me. And I think that you, you stayed in this situation because, um, this person was very smart. This person was very smart. They had a lot to offer you. They were very cunning, probably seductive as well. You know, you were with somebody who was very, or in a situation where there was, um, a pull there was a pull towards this direction because this person was very intellectual but the fact of the matter is they may have perceived themselves to be all that but they weren't okay it's like they were dishonest with you you could be um, dealing with somebody who is very self-centered Okay, or you are dealing with a situation where somebody's not thinking about your needs at all, okay? And you're at that point where, you know what, if you're not going to consider my needs, then I'm going to have to do the practical thing. I'm going to have to do the right thing for me. I think that you have been dreaming about the past, dreaming about perhaps even somebody in the past where there was stability there was security and there was there was generosity and there was um comfort okay and i think you've reached a point now or you've just reached the point in the last few months where you haven't been comfortable you haven't been happy happy so it opened your eyes that it's time for you to follow your passion it's time for you to go get your reward um Take action, all right? It's time for you to accept the truth, which you have not been doing. So that's what I see. It feels like you guys are starting to realize that I have to accept my truth. This Whoever you're dealing with hasn't been thinking about you. They haven't, they've been thinking about themselves. They haven't been giving in to you. They haven't been giving you what you need, okay? Right here, okay? They're thinking about themselves only. Um, and that's just, you know, you can't take that anymore. It's like, I have so built, much built up passion that I am about to explode. Okay? I'm about to explode. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling the pull. I'm feeling the vibrations. Okay? It's like uh, you are on cloud nine as far as high, high vibrations go. It's like you are vibrating very highly. And I think that your attractiveness, I think that you're very attractive to others at this time. Everybody can see your vibration. They can see your aura. They can see that your confidence and your courage. And it looks really, really good as far as how you are being seen by others. Um, but I feel like you have a a choice between two people okay I think you have a choice between Aries Leo Sagittarius and Taurus Virgo Capricorn and I feel like you perhaps have done the wrong thing okay somebody has done the wrong thing and they're having regrets you know they're having memories of the past and now they're unhappy they're on somebody who's watching this is unhappy with their decisions and now they're carrying this load that they have brought on to themselves by making this wrong decision. Like the Seven of Cups says, be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. If somebody who's watching this made the wrong decision and now they regret it and they're remembering their past and how stable and secure and comforting it was. I have to tell you also that you have a soulmate connection with somebody, um, a divine connection. Um, I don't know who this is for, but somebody has a divine connection with another person and um, it's being ignored, okay? It's being ignored. It's like the truth is being ignored. But I think you're really, really close to accepting the truth. You know the truth, put it that way. It's like your time of reflection has brought the truth um, right up, okay? You know that. You know that the tr what the truth is. All you have to do now is take action. Um, 
And a lot of you haven't been listening to your divine connection. You haven't been listening to the divine. You haven't been following the divine plan. Sevens are, seven is a number from heaven, okay? Seven is a divine connection. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, these two are reversed. This one's upright, but this is the seven of cups about your choices, all right? About illusions and about, you know, what you own owns you. I feel like you guys made a wrong decision and now you're paying for it. And you're realizing that now you have to take action. You know, you have to take action. Um, somebody is thinking about somebody from their past, all right, with the six of cups. And they're unhappy. They're unhappy with what has happened, with whatever came out, whatever happened, um, whatever cut was made. They're unhappy with it. So I don't know who this is for, but there's an element of unhappiness about a decision that was made. Um, but now, you know, this is karma. There was karma here that came in to teach you a lesson, to teach you to become aware of your thoughts, to teach you to become aware of your actions and your choices. All right, so that's why there was a lesson here to be learned. Um, I feel like with this King of Pentacles, we have three kings, okay? King of Pentacles, King of Wands, and King of Swords. It's like there's a lot of controlling energies here trying to control your desires trying to control your your emotions trying to control the outcome okay and i think you've come to a point where you can't you have to go with the flow okay it's time to go with the flow and the sevens is also about going with the flow trusting in the divine Okay, so it is time to trust in the, the, the divine plan. It's time to do the right thing for you. Where I think in the most recent past, you haven't been. And that's why you're in a, in a time of reflection right now where it's time to do the right thing for me. So do I think that new love is coming in? I do not. And I think, and I, and I have to tell you that. And I think that it is because you are dealing with two people. I think you're dealing with two people right now. And you don't, you one of them that you want to go back with, but you're still in a spot where you haven't released something yet. You haven't accepted the truth completely, but you're getting there. You're really, really close. This unhappiness that you're going through is about to probably push you into a state of taking action with this king and queen of, of wands. It's like your passion is about ready to um, blow. Okay, so I feel like you guys are going to be, are going to be taking action in regards to your uh, desires. It's like I'm I'm gonna take the lead in my own life. I'm taking the lead. I am determined to be happy. So I see that you guys are. I see that you're vibrating very very highly. <laughs> Let's see if we can get any love out of these romance cards. I think it's a time of accepting the truth, okay? Which you haven't been. You haven't been. Deception. Interesting. Interesting. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Who is it? I don't think you can point the finger at anybody else. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Whoever it is that you're thinking about, you know, if you're deceiving yourself over a person, you know who this person is, okay? Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. And Scorpio, I think it's you. You're not accepting the truth of a situation with these two cards reversed. You're not. You're not. And the fact of the matter is, it's time to speak up. It's time to be honest. It's time to be honest. And talk to this person that you are dealing with that you are deceiving by not telling them how your heart feels. Not only are you deceiving them, you are deceiving yourself by not telling whoever it is you're thinking about how you feel.
It's time to do the right thing. Okay? It is. <laughs> speak up, speak up. This is the throat chakra, okay? For all of you guys that know. Okay, this is about speaking up. It's time. It's time. Tell these people that you are dealing with how you feel. The time has come for you to speak your truth. Stop dece deceiving whoever you're deceiving by holding this in. You've reflected on it. You know what you need to do. Now's the time to do it. Speak up. Let's get to your question. Do you remember your question from the, the beginning of the reading? Hopefully you do. If you haven't, think of it now. This is usually a yes or no answer. Could be a timeline. Could be telling you how to get the answer to the question you asked. So what is your question this week? And I'd like to know if I should keep doing this. So let me know. And again, I want to thank all the people that did not ask for their readings. I really appreciate that. They're, these are free. And I do them at a certain... I believe in divine timing. So you have your question, are you ready? On your mark? Get set. Go. Ooh, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. I don't need to go into detail about that. Whatever question you asked, the answer is yes. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I wish you the best. Speak up. Speak up. If you don't, you're only hurting everybody involved, including yourself. 